recall that a matrix is normal if uh, a a hermitian equals a hermitian a okay it commutes with its hermitian and we saw that it's a generalization of unitary real symmetric and hermitian matrices and we saw a simple two cross two example of a matrix that is normal but not unitary hermitian or <coughs> skew hermitian we also defined uh, unitary unitary diagonalizability so a matrix is said to be unitarily diagonalizable if it is unitarily equivalent to a diagonal matrix so the similarity transform that will take the matrix to a diagonal matrix is in fact a unitary matrix okay so this is the theorem which gives us some fundamental properties of normal matrices um, so if uh, the matrix a which is of size n cross n has eigenvalues lambda 1 to lambda n then these four properties are equivalent first is that a is a normal matrix the second is that a is unitarily diagonalizable and the third is that the sum of the squares of all the entries of a which is also the frobenius norm squared of the matrix uh, a is equal to the sum of the squares of its eigenvalues and the fourth is that there is an orthonormal set of n eigenvectors of a that is n has a full set of eigenvectors which are orthonormal to each other okay so we'll see how to show this so if um, uh, so the starting point is again shows uh, unitary triangularization theorem so let t be upper triangular of size n cross n such that u hermitian a u equals t so this means that uh, t is unitarily equivalent to a Okay, um, that means that this, uh, when we say A is normal, then that is um, uh, the same as saying that um, T must be normal. So that is something you can immediately verify that. So A, normality of A is equivalent to normality of t. So you can easily check that if uh, a is normal, then t is normal, and this is an if and only if condition. Um, so yes, about, yes, go ahead, please. Uh, sir, uh, what is normality of A and normality of T? Normality is the property that the, a matrix commutes with its conjugate transpose. So normality of A is the property that A A Hermitian equals A Hermitian A. Normality of T is the property that T T Hermitian equals T Hermitian T. So, if A is normal, then T is normal. Okay, but if, but T is upper triangular. Okay, so if I look at um, upper triangular matrix and I write out this condition, T, T Hermitian equals T Hermitian T, that looks like this. So I'll uh, write uh, T, T Hermitian So T Hermitian would be a lower triangular matrix. 
and T is an upper triangular matrix. T Hermitian. Uh, so this is T Hermitian. This is T. And that is the same as T. T Hermitian. Okay, and now if you see what happens when you um, equate the entries of these two products, what I'm going to argue is that uh, if T is normal and upper triangular, then it must be diagonal. So if I take the one one element of both the left hand side and the right hand side here, then uh, what we get is the one comma one element of this is going to be T11 times T11 star. And so that will be T11, T11 star. And the one comma one element here would be this column times this row, which is T11, T11 star plus <coughs> the summation J equal to 2 to N T1J T1J star. Okay, so now this is mod T11 squared and it cancels with this mod T11 squared and this is mod T1J squared. So this means that summation J equal to 2 to N mod T1J squared equals 0 which in turn means that these are all non-negative quantities. So if you add up all of these and you're still getting zero, every one of them must be zero. So T1J equals zero, J equals two through N. So basically other than the one comma one element, all other entries in the first row must be equal to zero. Similarly, if you equate the two comma two entry, what you will get is that um, um, T2J equals 0 for j equal to 3, 4, uh, up to n, and so on. So just proceeding this way, we, we get um, tij equals 0 for j greater than i and i going from 1 to n and of course tij equals 0 for j less than i and i going from 1 to n because t is upper triangular okay so all for j less than i uh, the entries are always equal to 0 so this means that T is diagonal. Which means that A is unitarily diagonalizable. The other way is actually much simpler. So P implies A. So what we need to show is that if A is unitarily diagonalizable, then A is a normal matrix. Um, so basically, um, any diagonal matrix is, is already normal. For any diagonal matrix D, D Hermitian D, just contains mod Di squared along the diagonals. And so that is equal to D, D Hermitian for any diagonal. So all diagonal matrices are normal. And unitary equivalence preserves normality. So Basically, therefore, B implies A. So A and B are done. Now, if you want to show B implies C, what we need to show is that 
if A is unitarily diagonalizable, then summation of mod Aij squared equals the summation of lambda I squared. If A is unitarily diagonalizable, then the resulting diagonal matrix will have the eigenvalues lambda i on the diagonal. Because after all, it's a similarity transform, and if you are if you are using a similarity transform to get a diagonal form, then the diagonal entries must be lambda i. So, and and further, I'll just show this in a second. Unitary equivalence is a property that preserves Frobenius norm. So that means that uh, sigma i j equal to 1 to n mod a i j square is equal to the trace of a Hermitian A, which is equal to sigma i equal to 1 to n mod lambda i square. So to see this, I mean, this is simple. Um, basically, if A is unitarily diagonalizable, then there exists a diagonal D containing eigenvalues of A and unitary U such that D equals U Hermitian AU. And uh, so then um, summation of lambda I squared which is equal to the trace of D Hermitian D is equal to trace of, I'll substitute for D, U Hermitian, A Hermitian, U, U Hermitian, A, U, which is equal to the trace of, this is just the identity matrix, so U Hermitian, A Hermitian, A, U, and uh, and this uh, trace is the similarity invariant, and this u Hermitian times u is a similarity transform, and so you have trace of a Hermitian a, which is equal to sigma i j one to n mod a i j square. To go the other way, um, okay. So to show the other way. So specifically that we want to show that if summation of a i j squared equals summation of lambda i square, then a is unitarily diagonalizable. So um, the, when you use this short triangularization theorem to find a unitary transform such that u Hermitian a u equals t, um, lambda i, i going from 1 to n, are the diagonal elements of T, or will be the diagonal elements of T. So that is basically how the eigenvalues are related to the matrix A. So there exists a U such that U Hermitian A U equals T, and the diagonal entries of T are these lambda I's. So basically, if, if, uh, if somebody told us that summation, so i equal to one, okay, i, j, both. i, j equal to one to n, um, a, i, j square, um, so if we were to try to compute this, this is equal to the trace of a Hermitian a, 
um, which is in turn equal to, I'll just write it so that it's clear, trace of A Hermitian A, and I'll substitute for U, and I'll write this as trace of um, U Hermitian T Hermitian U U Hermitian T U, which is equal to trace of U Hermitian T Hermitian T U, which is equal to the trace of because trace is unitarily invariant or invariant to this kind of a similarity transform. This is a similarity transform on T Hermitian T and uh, the trace is invariant to similarity transformation. So this is the same as the trace of T Hermitian T, which I can write as since the diagonal entries are lambda i, so the trace of T Hermitian T can be written as sigma, it's the sum of the mod of all the entries in T, mod square of all the entries in T, and I keep the diagonal entries separate, lambda i squared plus sigma i less than j, mod t i j square. Okay, this, uh, these two, th this equality is coming because of C. So we are assuming C is true and we are trying to show that the matrix must be unitarily diagonalizable. So this uh, immediately implies that, um, or sorry, let me put it this way. This, this quantity here and this quantity here are equal because of our assumption that summation Aij squared equals summation lambda I squared. So that immediately implies that sigma I less than J mod Tij squared equals zero or Tij equals zero for I less than J. And of course, uh, Tij equals zero for I greater than J. Because T is upper triangular. Okay, so if the row index is bigger than the column index, all these entries are always zero. So T is diagonal. So that means that the upper triangular matrix we got by applying a unitary transformation of A through the sure triangularization theorem is in fact diagonal. So which implies that A, uh, the matrix A is unitarily diagonalizable, which is the statement B. Yeah. Then B implies D. So if A is um, unitarily diagonalizable, we want to show that there is an orthonormal set of n eigenvectors of A. So if A is unitarily diagonalizable, then it means there exists a U such that uh, U Hermitian A U equals lambda, which is equal to this diagonal matrix containing lambda 1 through lambda n. That, so if I take u to the other side, or rather multiply by u on both sides, I'll get a u equals u lambda, or each of these columns of u are actually, so this is, lambda is a diagonal matrix. So it, it means that a u i equals lambda i u i, or there exist n ortho, orthonormal eigenvectors of a. And the other way is also exactly the same. If there exists n orthonormal eigenvectors, um, so if there exists n orthonormal, all these steps are reversible. Then. So basically it follows. Huh? Oh. 
of a, then a u equals u lambda, where lambda is a diagonal matrix containing the eigenvectors of a. So that implies u Hermitian a u. Since these uh, eigenvectors are orthonormal, u Hermitian equals or u Hermitian u equal, equals the identity matrix. So if I do u Hermitian, if I multiply by u Hermitian on the left, then I get u Hermitian a u equals lambda, which is a diagonal matrix. So which means that a is unitarily diagonalizable. Sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, this I1, uh, lambda I1, lambda 1, lambda 2 up to lambda n, how, mm. how are you saying that they are distinct always? They are not. That's a crucial point, actually. So the, this is the main, uh, one of the main differences between what we said earlier and what we are saying now. Earlier for diagonalizability, one of the conditions was that, uh, one of the sufficient conditions was that the eigenvalues need to be distinct. We don't need that here. So the important consequence of this is that normal matrices are non-defective. Okay, they're always diagonalizable and the algebraic multiplicity equals the geometric multiplicity of the matrix. So um, we've seen that um, Hermitian matrices are a special case of normal matrices. If A is Hermitian, then it means A equals A Hermitian. And therefore, A A Hermitian equals A Hermitian A, which are both equal to A square. And so, um, Hermitian matrices are normal. And for Hermitian matrices, we can say one small extra thing, which is known as the spectral theorem for Hermitian matrices. So if A in C to the N cross N is Hermitian, then all eigenvalues of A are what? What can we say about the eigenvalues real. of real? Exactly. And B, um, A is unitarily diagonalizable. See, this is useful because um, all covariance matrices are Hermitian symmetric. Okay, by definition, the covariance matrix is the expected value of x, x Hermitian, where x is a vector. And so, since covariance matrices are, uh, are Hermitian symmetric matrices, all eigenvalues of a covariance matrix are real, and any covariance matrix is unitarily diagonalizable. Now, uh, the statement B here immediately follows from the fact that uh, the matrix is... Uh, any Hermitian matrix is normal and a normal matrix, we just showed this, that any normal matrix is unitarily diagonalizable. Now, um, uh, the, the point A that the eigenvalues are real uh, follows because if it's, if a matrix, uh, any diagonal and Hermitian symmetric matrix must be real. And so, and unitarily, if, I mean, this unitary equivalence preserves Hermitian symmetry. And so, if I find a matrix that is unitarily equivalent to the matrix A and is diagonal, then the matrix T, which is unitarily equivalent to A, must be Hermitian symmetric as well. And uh, if it's Hermitian symmetric and diagonal, it is a real valued matrix. So all the eigenvalues are real. Mm -hmm. 
between unitary diagonalizability here and uh, diagonalizability that we discussed earlier which was through similarity transforms is that we no longer need distinct eigenvalues In other words, normality is enough. <laughs> 